Hybrid and electric vehicles in the Las Vegas Valley are in short supply. So if you drive one of these, consider yourself lucky as gas prices are rising. It's that time of year when gasoline prices start to go up and up and up. And fuel efficient vehicles are in high demand at dealerships across the valley. This particular one is a hybrid. Here's Atia Mansour, general manager of Jim Marsh Kia in Centennial Hills. The hybrid uh, overall is the one that's most popular. Well, gas gives you 53 miles per gallon. Not uncommon for this time of year, gas prices in Nevada have ticked upward, about 42 cents since the start of March. Here in Clark County, the average for a gallon of regular unleaded as of this week is about $4.40, almost a dollar per gallon more than the national average, according to AAA. Robbie Finley of Finley Automotive Group. Hybrids are definitely in high demand right now. And I think it's because they're, they're kind of that medium between, you know, a traditional internal combustion engine and a fully electric vehicle. Las Vegas resident Felix Bernal has both. He has a couple of gas powered weekend cars, but also has an EV, a Tesla, which he uses to get to and from the strip for work. He typically shies away from taking his Tesla on long trips, partly because of the unpredictable availability at charging stations. But he knows he's saving. It's great. I mean, the amount of money I save on, you know, on gas is unbelievable. With Las Vegas Valley gas prices among the highest in the country, AAA spokesman John Trainer explains the big reason for that. We get our gas primarily from California. California oil refineries are more expensive than others because they have to meet certain environmental regulations. It's more expensive to make gas out of California than it is in places like Texas or maybe the Midwest. And as Memorial Day weekend approaches and we move into the scorching summer months in Southern Nevada, don't expect those gas prices to go down or the consumer interest in hybrids to go away. AAA says it's expecting one of the busiest summer driving seasons in recent memory on our roadways. Reporting from the Northwest Valley, I'm Brian Horwath.